Well, hey, everybody out there. Uh, my name is Tony Biagni, and we are at the Wonder Conference 09. I'm with my buddy Phil Vischer here. He is the creator of Vegetable Tales. Is that how we say that? Something like that. Something like yes. that. We yes. shortened it over time. We, okay, good. To, we could talk about to that. just vegetable. <laughs> no tail? No. Wow, that's no. awesome. Am I, am I encroaching on your man space here? No, just, you're okay. Okay, okay we talked about it. Okay. This is kind of awkward now, isn't it? <clears throat> Anyways, let's start over. Just Here we go. Don't no. hug me. <laughs> I won't hug you yet. Okay. I won't hug you yet. Off camera. Um, so here's the dealio. Uh, we're at the we're at the Wonder Conference. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed it. Uh, oh, it's been great. Yeah, it's been good for all the two hours that I've been here. It's been rock solid. I know. I know. Yeah. And there's, there's a lot of wonder. <laughs> We say it like Wunder, actually. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it's, that's nice. It's fun. Like Volkswagen. Yeah, it's a German thing. What? <laughs> okay. Um, I was supposed to ask you a question. Yeah. Um, and the the question is really really open ended because uh, that's how creatives you know, that's what we do, right? Exactly. It's, it's my ADD nature. Exactly. Um, so here, the, the real the the thing is this: we have people from all over the world. Crazy, I know, but they're coming in, and I know a lot of people wanted to 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 hear what you had to say, and you just right. gave your breakout session, and um, and uh, you know, so there's a lot of people who came here to, because they're they're looking at uh, people who they just admire and respect, and they want to tap into their brain as much as possible, right. and and learn from them. Is there anything else that you could give the creatives that have both uh, that are both here at the conference and all those out on the interweb, like any more? Thoughts or wisdom or five more minutes of five pure more genii. minutes. Yes, and, and you I, don't have to do and it. And if in you a voice. were here, I couldn't talk to you after my talk because I had to come here to talk to you. What up? Over That's the how internet. we roll interweb right. world. Yes. Um, big thing. I get lots of emails from folks that want to make stuff. You know, mm -hmm. I want to make that film. I want to make that. I got this idea for a mm -hmm. big giant Christian mm -hmm. fill in the blank. Mm -hmm. And, and quite often I'll say, okay, well, show me what you've made. You know, mm -hmm. show me your reel. Let me see the films you've made. And they'll say, well, I haven't made any yet. It, it is so easy to make stuff mm -hmm. today. You know, you get a Mac and a camcorder and you can make a feature film. Mm -hmm. there's, just, there's no excuse for not having made mm -hmm. 20 films before you want to make, you know, your important film. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we think, but, but the film that I want to make is the one that leads people to Christ. It's like, well, maybe that should be your 10th mm -hmm. film because by then you'll be better at it. You know, mm -hmm. we forget that we have to practice, that anything, if you want to play the piano, you have to practice. If you want to play the violin, you have to practice. If you want to play basketball, you have to practice. If you want to tell stories mm -hmm. or make movies or, you know, drama on stage, anything, you have to practice. Yep. And the practice can be a story about your cat. It doesn't have to be a story about Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, because we put so much weight on us. I've been gifted, and I have to use my gift to glorify God. Yes, and that will come out of the craft that you've been practicing so you can do it well. So just tell stories. Just tell stories. Any story about your cat, about your dog, about your wife, about your kids, anything. Mm -hmm. And tell it with popsicle sticks. Tell it you don't need a big budget, which is another big thing. I mean, a lot of kids, it's like, well, I want to make this movie, but I need, you know, $10 million. Like, no, you don't. You need a camcorder and a computer. That's what you need. Yes. I mean, right. even Napoleon Dynamite was, you know, 400 grand for a film that did $100 million at the box office. You, you don't need a lot of money to tell stories if you can tell stories. And it starts with practicing. So practice. Make stuff cheap and make stuff fast and then make again and again. And see what happens. And, um, well, yeah. That and, goes without saying, I think. Well, and I know because uh, I'm, I'm a total Wired magazine geek, like have been yeah. a loyal geek uh, for Wired for a long time, and, and Kevin Kelly is um, one of their writers there, and, and okay. uh, he talked about um, in his in the last issue. He talked about the decentralization of of, uh, of a community where we are now contributing so much creative through YouTube and Wikipedia. Where it's like this moving force that mm -hmm. can't be stopped, and uh, there's no CEO at the head of it that's saying, "Okay, it has to look like this. It has to do that." Right. Do you think this is something that you know, if you could tell creatives based on what you're saying, you know? It's, we have more resources available and more outlets available than right. at any other time in human history. Right. Um, so, so I guess if it's not about Jesus, that is okay because it's the story around it that people go, 
you know what, I think I know the thing behind the thing that he's talking about. Right? Yeah, and, and I'm not saying, you know, s some people say we just need to tell stories about the Christian experience and we mm -hmm. don't need to ever get all the yeah. way there. I'm not saying that mm -hmm. because I'm teaching kids and I tell them about Jesus, Yep. you know, in my stuff. What I am saying is every time you get up to the plate, you don't have to try to hit it out of the park and take mm -hmm. them all the way down to the aisle to a conversion experience. Mm -hmm. You can just tell stories, you can just have fun yeah. with them. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, there's a conversation mm -hmm. that we're starting and the conversation can't happen inside just one mm -hmm. work of art. Yeah. The conversation is the collective, it's the church. Mm -hmm. You know, I cannot lead the world to Christ. That's what the church, you know, the yep. church is supposed to impact the world. What I can do is contribute to the conversation mm. between the church and the world. And that's much more exciting because I don't feel this immense pressure mm -hmm. on my shoulders to create, you know, the passion of the Christ mm -hmm. with all the right words at all the right point that lead to the conversion experience at the end. Gotcha. I can't do that. Yeah. Even yeah. if I had the money, I couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to. I mean, that's, that's what the church does mm -hmm. when the Holy Spirit does through the church. And I can just have a little voice in the choir, you know, and, and tell my stories and paint the picture of the world from my perspective mm. that God has given me and then see who it engages. Mm. That's, that, that's, I love that. Um, and that's a, see? Word. To your mother. You see that? I threw that was the good. That's good. That was, I'm you're, totally legit. You're edgy. But it's for all the kids, urban. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, one last thing that I'm just uh, wondering we kind of, I've been asking this uh, to some of the other people we've been interviewing who right now uh, in, in uh, animation or in just in, in uh, motion pictures, that, that who are you kind of looking at and you're, you're drawing inspiration from? Or is it who are you kind of going, wow, you know, that's something that's challenging how I'm thinking or how I'm thinking as a creative. Um, who is that for you? Gee. Um... I, I like things like uh, Joss Whedon and um, uh, the uh, sing-along blog, Dr. Mm -hmm. Horrible's sing-along blog, yes. which is really cool <laughs> because he went completely outside the system mm -hmm. and said, I'm just going to do this thing. I'm going to figure out how to do it cheap. I'm going to do it with favors and mm -hmm. friends, and I'm going to find a completely new way to get it to an audience. Now, is it a model that works for everybody? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. It mm -hmm. may not. But people kind of going outside the bounds, you know, don't stay in the fence that you're supposed to stay in. Um, what's important though that we have to recognize is that it's a privilege to tell a story and it's going to be easier going forward to do so because of technology. It's going to be harder to make a living telling stories because everyone is now a storyteller. So we kind of have to get over the notion that, you know, I'm going to be a storyteller and that's how I'm going to make my living. Gotcha. You, you can be yep. a storyteller doesn't necessarily mean you have to be a professional storyteller because it's going to be harder and harder. There'll be more and more people telling stories, fewer and fewer actually making a living at it. Gotcha. So you do it because you love it. It's like writing children's books. There is no economic reason to write a children's <laughs> book. You don't make money writing children's books, but it's what people do yeah. because they love it. I want to write a children's book. Okay, it's not going to be your retirement though. So I, okay, because I was going to, that was my kind of some t yes, for... well, good luck with that. Some t I, I get frustrated because I'll see, you know, a, kids will go out, graduate from Christian college, move to Nashville because they want to break in the music business, and within five years, it's not supporting mm -hmm. them completely financially, and so they abandon it. You know, and I think about all the, the non-Christian artists that move to New York because they want to pursue the arts, and 20 years later, they're still waiting on tables, mm -hmm. still pursuing the arts, and it has never paid off financially, but they won't abandon it. You know, and we seem much more likely to abandon the arts because it doesn't buy us an upper middle class lifestyle. Well, that's nuts. You know, work at Starbucks for your health insurance and pursue the arts because creativity is so close to God's heart. And don't worry about the finances. Let him worry about that. Let Starbucks worry about your health insurance and you can just tell stories. That's about all we need, right? See, there we go. Thanks, Phil. You're welcome. Appreciate it. It's a pleasure. All right. Always. Always. We'll be doing this again, like, tomorrow and the next day. Are you cool with that? No. All right. Thanks a lot. Don't like you anymore. I wonder. <laughs>